first of all, you have to be disciplined. Business orientation, business minded, irrespective of religion and everything. If you're a go-getter, there's a lot of challenges. If you're a go-getter, you need to stand firm. But at first, you must be disciplined. You must be very disciplined. Second, you must have your goal. Then the goal will work as okay. Because there are times will be you need to be productive. It's a productivity that will lead you to profitability. But if you are not disciplined, you can't work in the hospitality industry. You can't build an empire in the hospitality industry. If you took, if you are, in, uh, uh, let me say, if you are doing the like party, like doing this, that, that, that. So when you're doing to that business, you have to caution yourself. You have to be disciplined. If not, you eat or drink all the profit and everything. So you have to just business. Business is business. So if you're coming in for entrepreneur, you have to start from somewhere. You can't start at the top. You have to grow from the year. So don't start what is more than you. So that is where you bring in consultant expertise and everything. Then you don't have to deceive yourself. You should know your capacity, the money wise and everything. So you don't have to do more than yourself. It's better for you to be upgrading as the years goes on than starting from then coming down later. The one good thing I see about Sydney is that there's room for growth and development. Once you, before one year you can be promoted to anything, before six months, depends on your capacity, depends on how committed, how dedicated you are, and how productive you are. Then within six months, you grow. Then simply have room for that. I have a, I have a chef now. They are moved from the cleaner. So, to assistant, to pantry, from pantry, to assist, to a kitchen assistant, from kitchen assistant, to the new chef. Now, there's a sous chef within three years. I like serving people. I like serving people. That's why as a general manager, I just see it as a title. I like serving people. No respect to nobody. I like serving people. I like cooking. I like cooking. I like coaching than lecturing. So I like coaching. Each can be for pastries. For quick food, a main restaurant. What different type of restaurants? Bristol fine dining. Where we sell, you cook, you order, they give you menu, you order food. You wait for 15 to 30 minutes before your food is ready. It's a fresh food, so it depends. And we have food here. So, like one good thing about Sydney restaurant, which is the flamingo, the blue flamingo. So we will try to bring everything all over the world, the cuisine, the dishes. In there. The same thing in pizzeria. So we have bread, pizzas, then snacks as well. That they have to do with pastries. That they have a pizza. Then there's some drink that okay children can come in, which is affordable. But so there are two different things, and that's why you can see the demarcation. But for people that have been asking us, that's why we're rebuilding clay pots to both eatery and restaurants. Don't be, don't be too rigid. Flexibility, hospitality changes every day. New things, new innovation, new things, new food, new equipment, new staff serving. So, the competition, it's encouraging me to go more, not to sleep. So I always think, crap my brain, be ahead of my game. What do I need? I need to push more. I need to get more. And everything. So if you don't compete with me. I don't want to be at the top. So I was okay, since I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I have to do this, I have to do more. So going for more courses, more training, exposures, you travel and you see new things. Outside Kwara, the one in Abuja, then outside the country. So you upgrade yourself. There's something that you need to do more. So that the other people before they can get it, you are going to make your money. So once they copy you is good, but when they do the copy. You already left that behind. You're picking around that one. So competition is always good. Follow me to catch me. That's just it. That is all. Welcome to Sydney. Home of pleasure and enjoy the music.